welcome to Miami and a sold out American Airlines Arena. The last playoff game in this building a little over 10 months ago it was game six of the finals where the Miami Heat were defeated by the Dallas Mavericks. But after a strong regular season, they are ready to start what they hope is a long playoff run, but a tough first round matchup for the Miami Heat as they'll face the New York Knicks. Games guarded by Stoudemire on this trip down the floor. James tries again, gets inside, and banks it in. And the Heat with their first lead in the early going. Anthony misses that jump shot. Quickly down the other way. LeBron James on the court, the flick of the wrist. He's just calmed down and just playing basketball. You know, last year was more so, like you said, he played into the villain role. And, you know, and um, even though he played well, um, you know, throughout the regular season and, and um, you know, through some of the playoffs, he wasn't, you know, the LeBron that we all knew. And so I think with his family being down here, getting a year, um, you know, in this environment, uh, this is his first time out of Ohio. <laughs> it was last year, it was his first time out of Ohio. So just getting comfortable with his surroundings and, and, um, and understanding that, you know, we all have his back um, and we believe. I think his family being here, his boys being here, um, you know, it's, it's really calmed him down and made him uh, relax. James inside pass, they go back out Miller. Battier loves that corner, a three-pointer for Shane Battier on his first attempt. Shot clock winding down. James, the jump shot. He's in double figures already. James fouled again, and he backs it in. LeBron James nails a three-pointer and a chance for a four-point play. That is the heat of open this one up here in the second period. Think about the strength that this takes. Oh, it's a two, not a three, but still an unbelievable shot. He's got 18 points. This will be his 13th free throw of the first half. And Mike, right now, New York has been very undisciplined when it comes to fouling. James, the finish, and a foul! James on the pull-up, that shot for him, he's unstoppable. Seven of eight from the field, the lead 25. But Mike, this is what the playoffs are all about, taking these type of, you know, difficult calls. You gotta be able to just play through it as James attacks out of the post-up of Wade. Now this going back to the second quarter, the Heat have scored 29 of the last 31 points. There's another steal from LeBron James. And another great front by James to make the entry pass difficult. He's got four steals in the game. James hot step, kicks it out. Chalmers, the three, puts it in. What an annihilation right now. A 31-point lead for the Heat. Out to Battier, open three. Haslam can't control it, but it caroms out to James. Miller will try three, knocks it down. And it's back to 30. Miller. Battier gets the rebound. James, the drive, the adjustment, the bounce shot. Final seconds, third quarter. James against Anthony. Puts up a three. Bang! LeBron James from downtown. 81 47. He's got 32 through three quarters. As the Miami Heat close out a sparkling defensive performance as dominant as you can be in game one. As they hammer the Knicks, led by LeBron James with another brilliant performance. Rainy, windy day in South Florida, greeting a capacity crowd as they enter the American Airlines Arena for game two in the first round series of the Eastern Conference playoffs. Saturday, the second-seeded Miami Heat crushed the seventh-seeded New York Knicks by 33. Now the focus is on the Knicks' Carmelo Anthony, who is only 3 of 15 shooting, mainly because of LeBron James' defense. How will Carmelo respond tonight? Here's Chris Bosh against the glass and in, and now Reggie, he plays that starting center for Miami, does Bosh. Rebound by Haslam, the quick outlet goes to LeBron. This is where Miami is so tough. Good feed to Reed, sails in. An assist by LeBron James.
Fields across the lane. Wade has scored the last 11. James with that head of steam. The fadeaway. And picked up by LeBron. Oh, that is a foul. Feet have led by as many as eight. Knicks have led by as many as four. Here is LeBron. LeBron James to a four with five. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. A straight. Oh. That is amazing. You see the eye contact between LeBron James and Chalmers. Second inside. Hit up by Stoudemire. Smith drops the ball and he himself hits the deck. Wade. LeBron with the assist. Smith. Long two. Battier defends. Rebound by Wade. He'll come the other way. Wade. LeBron! James to Bosch, who got his position down low. And the big guy can stink his plane close yeah. to the basket. It always makes a difference. I I've loved what Mike Woodson has done. Look come out after me. Why fight everyone on the post? Put the ball in your hand. Charles with a three. How oh, is that not an offensive foul there? Smith is in. Finds Anthony. Nice defense by Haslam, who takes the ball away. Triggers it out to James. Here's transition for Miami LeBron. So we knew LeBron could defend Carmelo. Could Carmelo defend LeBron? Uh, LeBron is not. You're the, speechless. No, uh, LeBron is not the scorer as he comes over the steal like Carmelo is. Back the other way is James. But he, he is a runaway freight train. But when it talks about strength, he's the much stronger player of the two. LeBron. Shane Battier. James. Mike Miller. Battier. Sean. Oh. And LeBron! Bosch puts it in. There's been a lot of, as you see right there, together basketball for the Miami Heat. Miller with a three. Mike Miller. Miami wins game two, and they take a two games to none lead in the first round of this Eastern Conference playoff. Let's take now a look at our starting lineups tonight here at the Garden in game three. And in essence, we've got three players for the New York Knicks starting in different positions tonight. Well, no, Amari Stoudemire, which means Carmelo Anthony moves down to that power forward position where they were 14-5 and five in his absence with the back injury. But it doesn't change for the Miami Heat. That just means LeBron James is still going to match up, and this is the premier matchup in this series. Once again, they got Anthony on James. What a pass here to Haslam. LeBron the assist. We talked about the top, New York Knicks, their ability to make threes. They average about eight a game. Ten is going to be the magic number for them tonight as we're talking about threes. There's Chris Bosch from that short corner three-pointer. It's Wade. He had so many close shots. Kicks out nicely to Landry Fields. Lost the ball. Nice defense. A turnover. The other way. Way to LeBron. Boy, the comfort level that these two guys in particular show with each other's game has just been such a marked difference from a season ago. Dwayne Wade easily had a dunk right here, but he understood LeBron James trailing. Look at the finish there. Beautiful. On number six. That is, that is something to watch, isn't it? <laughs> LeBron James. Now Miami in the second quarter, 4 of 11 from the floor. James, 2 of 8. The throwaway, the deflection, Bosch, the look away, James for 2, and the Chandler foul. The defensive end, Dwayne Way got going in the third quarter. How do you slow him down with LeBron coming back in the game now? Well, he's got to take a break eventually. I can't afford to take Melo out. LeBron's coming back. We just got to keep grinding, man. All right, Mike, thanks. And James welcomes himself back to the game by hitting a three. Brown hits his first fourth quarter point of the series. With that basket now claims a rebound inside. 
Slides in, puts up the runner, and puts it and off. His miss gets another offensive rebound. He's got five off the bench to begin the fourth in about a minute. It's Fields for a long two. Rebound by Chalmers, and they got James playing the point, basically. Bringing the ball up. He'll put up a three. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. Oh, oh my That's goodness. That's it. That is it. The fuse has been lit. Anthony defending James. LeBron. James has 25, and he'll go to the stripe, and Anthony reaching in. He'll pick up his third personal foul for the New York Knicks. Drive by Smith, the rebound by LeBron. He'll come going the other way. A 20% shooting fourth quarter for New York. Chalmers puts it in again. Another triple. LeBron James. James has put in 30 points. You know, just too many injuries, too yeah. many changes, too many, mm -hmm. too many things to the Knicks. Whether it was the Amari situation out of game two as he's walking to the locker room, the injury to Lynn, the injury at different times to Stoudemire and Anthony. You know, the, the late arrival on the scene by Baron Davis. I mean, one thing after another, as, as Carmelo said, and LeBron puts in another. He now has uh, totaled 32. It wasn't pretty, but LeBron came up big in the fourth quarter. LeBron had 17 in the fourth. Wade had a 12-point third. And Miami has defeated the New York Knicks and gone up 3 nothing in this series. Welcome to a sold-out Madison Square Garden in New York City. It's game four of the opening round playoff series between the Miami Heat and the New York Knicks. Anthony, good open look. That shot won't go. He has really struggled. 34% comes down the other end to James and James lays it in six straight points by the heat and they're quickly up by five And Bosch puts it up and in An easy bucket for James as Mike Miller with a pretty pass James again He was struggling through the first three quarters as he knocks it off Davis First three quarters of game three. He had eight turnovers. He was in foul trouble And then all of a sudden the game belonged to him and he quieted some taunts and cheers that he heard from the crowd. It was his first playoff game here at Madison Square Garden. But I find it funny when people say that fueled him. Well, what happened? Didn't fuel him the first three quarters. I mean, it just, everybody writes the story after the story as he makes a jump shot. The guy has had bad stretches before and come out and played great. He doesn't need any fuel. Coming up on two minutes gone by here in the second. Still even James the drive. So difficult to defend. James hearing the boos now every time he touches. Chalmers goes back door. Poor defense from J.R. Smith. James left wide open. Rattles that one in. He's in double figures. Shot clock down to seven. Smith on the drive. Gets inside. Misses. Anthony's tip won't go. And here comes Chalmers to Wade. James cutting to the basket. Lays it in. Good look from Dwayne Wade. And it's back up to seven. James backs up as we're under two minutes remaining. James smiling as he guards James, uh, Anthony smiling, that is. Miller's shot. That's good. A three-pointer for Miller, and that's the first three for the Heat. And a big one. James, a three-pointer. It's good. LeBron James answers back. The Heat with a couple of very important three-pointers here. Anthony, big free throws here. He's eight of nine. Short. Stoudemire the rebound. Dribbles. Stripped by James. Great hands from LeBron James. Stoudemire's had the ball stripped a number of times today by bringing it down low. Wade, the drive. Nice adjustment. Oh, what a beautiful move from Dwayne Wade. And the Heat back up by two. Shot clock down to eight. James now back on Carmelo Anthony. Anthony, nice fake. Tough fall away. Puts it in. Tough shot. Tie game with two to play. Smith on the drive, Bibby from the corner, bang! And the veteran Mike Bibby who had so many big three-pointers in his playoff career with Sacramento. Perhaps helping the Knicks get the victory today, but still plenty of time remaining. James is open, James for three, knocks it down! LeBron James answers back to tie the game. James hit big three-pointers in game three. Watch one right there as we come up on a minute remaining. Smith is tied up. Smith looking, looking, gets it to Anthony. Five on the shot clock. 
Anthony, one dribble. That's a three. It's good! Carmelo Anthony from way downtown. He's got 40. Anthony fires another three. And is fouled by Battier. Battier can't believe the call. And Anthony will get three free throws. That makes it a two-possession game. And again, the Heat still have a timeout left. But they're down by four. James spins, gets inside, puts it in, and the foul! LeBron James with a chance for a three-point play, and the foul on Chandler is his sixth. What a move from James! Wow, the spin-dribble split, absorbed the contact, and finished with the left-hand running hook. LeBron James almost had it poked away by Anthony, and then Chandler fouls out. James completes a three-point play, one-point game. Up top is Wade, feels on him. Wade drives, helped out by Stoudemire. Wade lost it, got it back. Final seconds, Wade for three. Won't go. Game over. There'll be a game five. Ravine this season has been championship or bust in the Miami Heat, hoping to find a title at the end of the rainbow. On a rainy night in South Florida, we welcome you to Miami at Game 5, Eastern Conference, first round. The New York Knicks trail the Miami Heat three games to one. What a pass to Fields, and it came from 33-year-old Mike Bibby, who's ventured around the NBA and finds himself in New York. He was the third and sometimes the fourth string point guard on this team. But because of injury, he finds himself starting, and Chris Bosh hits one from outside for Miami. His second offering tonight is good, and Miami comes to within two. Usually when you get by game three, you pretty much have shown your whole playbook. Now, you know, you make minor adjustments from game to game, but you've seen all the plays, and the intensity is all there. Now it's all about effort and the small things. So what do you do if you're a player? Do you go over the same video you've watched, the same plays? I mean, how do you keep it fresh in a player's mind? Well, you do go over a lot of video, but again, you're seeing the same person in front of you for a week, a week and a half. Aslam hits a nice mid-range shot after Mike Bibby had canned his second consecutive shot. It's Chandler inside. What a rejection by James. Picked up by Anthony. Out to Bibby for three. Mike Bibby has hit all three of his shots. And Bibby's got eight to lead the New York Knicks. Here is Miller the other way. Mike Miller, three. Joel Anthony, offensive rebound. That's the second for Miami. Another three for Miller. Chalmers into Douglas. Rebound by LeBron. That is the fifth second quarter offensive rebound by Miami tonight. They're just out quicking them on the offensive glass here. Carmelo is now three of nine shooting the ball tonight with predominantly LeBron James defending him. Unlike on Sunday when there was a lot of Battier in his face. By J.R. Smith, LeBron. Woo. Right now the Heat are just putting their will on the shoulders of the New York Knicks. James. And he locates Chalmers for three. LeBron James, Reggie, has six assists here in the first half. Yeah, this is a six-point game. It right. feels like it's 13 or 14-point advantage for Miami. If you're with me, you're happy about this. LeBron James inside. Wade. LeBron James. Carmelo now at 19, and LeBron James with 18 points as he sneaks inside and pulls the trigger. So now they have Fields watching James. Anthony was on Joel Anthony down low. Eight points in this third quarter by LeBron James, and 21 for the game. It's LeBron James. Quick blitz on Wade. Shot clock at one, Battier for three. The dagger, and that's all she wrote.
27 points, eight rebounds, six assists a game. You played most positions, you've defended them all, and you move into some pretty, comp pretty good company today with your third MVP. Magic, Larry, Moses, and now LeBron. Congratulations, LeBron James, the 2011-2012 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player. Now, I like what we're seeing early. When, when they came off that pick and roll, you had the trap. They reversed the ball right back to the side they came from, and that opens up the post. Wade hangs in the lane, gets it back to a five-point game. Paul George is a player who the Pacers folks were telling me before the game as Barbosa misses that shot. Will garner defensive first, second team over the years. There's Wade! There's James! And the first takeoff of this series. Yeah, well, you can't go to sleep here. Now just keep an eye right here on the fast break. We know that LeBron James gets out on the break as well as Wade, and they're constantly looking down the floor. So everyone was looking, who's my man? Well, whatever the shot went up, the guards have got to be back. Deflection by Battier. Take away by James. LeBron sees Dwayne. James the follow. Never assume, and that's what the blue shirts did. And Larry Bird's Frank Vogel coach bench needs to get in there now. David West just picked up his second foul. James circles in and scores inside to make it a three-point game. Maybe that's the last six points for the Pacers, scored by West, who leads everybody with a dozen. Well, I like how everyone talks about his contribution to this team. They say that he's extremely... Oh! Wow. Fox to the basket, took a hard hit as he finished that three-point play. Excuse me, that was the fourth foul on George Hill. That's big. And Frank Vogel choosing to keep him on the floor. Nice pass from James to Turioff for the dunk. Hill has four fouls. LeBron has him in a post-up situation. Instead, Chalmers comes to the basket. Got his own rebound. Fresh clock, Miami. Against Hibbert. They let LeBron go right to the basket. Beautiful reverse finish. Now, that was an incredible athletic move. The, the passing lanes, Mike, are so far apart. You always try to keep the passing lanes 12 to 15 feet. I don't know what's happened to them in the second half. Bad spacing. Ten turnovers for Indiana, and James hangs in the air. Ties the game at 52, and Frank Vogel will try to get his team organized here with a timeout. Halfway through the quarter, James, MVP. That's your job. Stay in front of him. Granger did a good job. Wade over George. He was right, Wayne Wade. Full rhythm here today, 21 points in 26 minutes. Our director, Ken Dennis, great shot of the communication with Wade and Haslam on their pick and roll defense. They're the two co-captains in this Miami team. They've played the most games in Heat history. Mike Miller at two. LeBron. Turnout! Mike, was interesting, when that shot went up by Miller, there were three shirts that were releasing going on the break. No one went for that long rebound. James on the pitch up. Vadier for three. James got the rebound of the miss. James and I got an assist there. Collison triple. He's off. Rebound by Anthony. The teams were only three of 17 shooting threes in this game. James. Now that, that was a tough shot. Back in Miami, the home for two years from LeBron James and the first ever MVP for the Heat. LeBron joined this elite list. Now eight men have won three or more and humbled to join this group. I'm still not understanding why my name is in there. Um, you know, it's, uh, I'm a historian of the game. Um, you know, like I said, if I wasn't watching those guys live when I was younger, um, you know, I was reading about them. If I couldn't read about them, then I would try to catch them on, you know, the classic games. And um, every last guy on that list, I, I got an opportunity to watch play in some way, shape, or form. And, uh, you know, just to see my name on that list is like, wow, it's, it's very, it's, it's breathtaking. Now you have to give Spolster a lot of credit because he's rotated Anthony and Turiev. They have 12 points and eight rebounds in this game. James in a very comfortable rhythm now. James and Wade have 28. The Pacers have 26 in this second half. With a quiet second half for Hibbert in foul trouble. James given space. 
He's dribbling to open space, and Indiana didn't give him that area in the first half. A three for George. Off the heel, chased down by Chalmers. Here's James! Right, clear out here for West. Over Battier, good defense by Shane. James came over to help, and only five on the shot clock. Wade falls, kept the dribble alive. Clock at five, here is James. Check, please. This will be the 13th consecutive playoff win against an Eastern Conference foe against Miami. The big three era, they've played five series. They won four of them in five, and then lost the finals to Dallas last year. 74 degree overcast day in South Florida. We welcome you to American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami, where the Heat have won 13 consecutive playoff games. Tonight, it is game two of the Eastern Conference semifinal series. The Indiana Pacers facing the Miami Heat, with Miami taking the opener here on Sunday afternoon. Haslam, who has not shot well, knocks down his first attempt. And his parents introduced him to basketball after they tried to get him to play tennis, then golf, and then the piano. I, I guess <laughs> he made, was fourth. Yeah, I guess he made the proper choice eventually. Did they realize he was really tall? Not that there's anything wrong with the piano or golf or, or tennis. LeBron James. So the Pacers now lead it 9-6. Nice set up from Hill, but West not able to hit. If your guards are going to push the ball up the court, your bigs have to run with them. You know, there's going to be some shots in transition in trail. Well, LeBron showing us his version of the teardrop. Uh, the problem is he's not the defender that George is, and that's a tough matchup. Beautiful pass from LeBron James to Rodney Kuriak. Just under four and a half remaining in this first quarter. Granger for three. Here comes James. Beautiful return pass from Wade. Volleyball return by Dwayne Wade. 6-0 run for Miami. And it's a one-point game. James again with the runner. I think he's been working on that, Bob. <laughs> we didn't see a whole lot of that early in the season. But as you mentioned, Frank Vogel has overall his 15th NBA season. Eight as an assistant coach. Started as a video coordinator. It's two on one and Cole over the stuff. Got clock to five. Anthony setting the pick. James. He had missed his previous four shots with nearly five minutes gone by. Beautiful pass from James. Haslam with the bucket. Coming up on three minutes to play. Third quarter. Ball is stopping once again. Everything in the Miami offense slowing down. James off a spin. It counts and the foul. Chalmers with the runner. Kept alive by James this time. LeBron James has come up big in recent times in the fourth quarter, but as you say, he has that, that look, although we have seen, despite the fact that he may be fatigued, we have seen him still able to turn things on. They did it the other night in game one, played the entire second half and just dominated at 16 points in the fourth, and there's two more to start this quarter. James gets inside. And James and Granger have words. The official Ed Malloy gets between them. Meanwhile, here's the play. Granger gets on the wrong side of LeBron. He anticipated that LeBron was going to run to the high post to catch the ball. Loses position, and then you see what happens. It's pretty much just two guys playing hard, getting tangled up here. But he tried to block the shot here. And James took offense to that elbow. Granger thinking maybe they were just tangled up. The old double technical, and now we play on. Miami trying to go 2-0 in this series. Indiana looking to take it back home at one apiece. James on a one bounce for Anthony, who gets inside. James on the follow. Nice action from Miami that time, really getting the ball swung. Pacers have a one-point lead. Here's West looking to add to it, and he does. Beautiful play drawn up by Frank Vogel. I think Miami thought that Indiana was going to try to post up Hibbert, and West just flashed in there. 
Meanwhile, a beautiful pass right on target from James to Wade. I think you go for three here if you're Eric Spolstra. You do have another timeout left to advance the ball, but very little time overall. You gotta shoot the three. Now to four, three. Here's Chalmers. 24 second buzzer goes off. Game is over. Mario Chalmers tie it. And Indiana has come away with a victory here in Miami to tie the series at one. We'll see a different Miami starting lineup here tonight. And a bit of a surprise, Eric Spolster not tipping his hand until right before tip. Chalmers, Wade, and James. But Shane Battier will start just the 11th time this year. And Dexter Pittman, the second year forward, will start for just the seventh time this season. Paul George has it knocked away. Great defense by Wade. Always among the top ten in steals. LeBron, a little floater. He's hit one of those in each of the games in the series to break the scoring seal for the Heat. David West wanted the foul. Got nothing. Here goes LeBron. The freight train down the lane for two. Now, there's been a lot of talk about your future, but really no clear-cut answer on your future. How long do you see yourself in this role? I really don't know, and I'll wait till uh, after our season's over, sit down with our owner and talk about it. LeBron takes it, hangs in the lane. That's eight straight field goals for the Heat. James Jones, who started his career in Indiana, tutored by Reggie Miller, sharpshooter, comes in. So too does Norris Cole. As deeper in the rotation go the Heat after the Bosch injury, and James continues this great run for the Heat. So Miami opens one for nine from the field. They've hit their last nine and lead by seven. Aaron Collison just in, able to take the high pass. Tyler Hansborough, Lou Amundsen in as well for Indiana, and Hansborough can't convert. He and Amundsen give you a lot of energy, but right now it is no answers on this end for the Pacers. Miami in a great rhythm. They've scored their last 10 field goals. Anthony the dunk, and the Pacers need a timeout. Clock at four, and it's James over Jones. Rebound by Haslam. Good job by Haslam to get inside. LeBron followed it up. He never stopped moving after he took that shot. Collison floats. LeBron so aggressive and so good on the glass. He's got six rebounds in the game, 30 in the series, and a find of Turi out for the dunk. It's a neat story, Hubie. George Hill, who went to IUPUI, Indiana University, Purdue University, played with Ginobili and Parker and Duncan. Greg Popovich really liked him. Well, he learned, he said, I've learned so much about preparation, hard work, and learning to be a professional from those three guys. Oh! Oh. LeBron went right around two defenders to throw it down and tie the game. James stops at 12-1. Pacer run. Indiana had its largest lead of the game again at 9. Now back to 7. I, I'm glad you brought up Jeff Foster, one of my favorite players. Yes, yes. Just loved his game, sacrificed his body for his team. Mario Chalmers hits a 3. 4 made in the game. 5 in the series for the Heat. Chalmers wanted the foul on Hill as their arms got locked. The clock's at 10, here comes James. There's LeBron's second field goal of this second half. LeBron knocks down back-to-back -back shots here. Game three, impressively and emphatically to the Pacers. To date, the most significant game of the NBA season as the playoffs continue. The Miami Heat and the Indiana Pacers on a glorious May day in downtown Indianapolis. It's game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals and the Pacers trying to go up three games to one. George met at the rim, Joel Anthony, who came in for Turi after the timeout. What a block at the rim by Anthony. Miami needs something to ignite them. James coming to the basket, and there they go. A block on one end, and LeBron dunks on the other. Wade dishes to Joel Anthony in the lane. Taken away. Six turnovers for the Heat. George Hill to the basket. And Indiana's missed several shots here that could have extended their margin. Wade's first shot. LeBron the rebound for the Heat. Battier desperately needs to make one. There you go. And he finally does. Shane Battier, who was one of nine shooting the three, one of 12 from the field in this series. Fans didn't like to call in hand throw. Candidly, could have gone either way. Chalmers hits a three from the outside. Hubie, he was the unspoken star for Miami in game three. Getting in the lane, 25 points, a playoff career best. Well, he's had a great season, Mike. Not only in points, but in defense. As James 
quick post and a score inside. So there's another inside field goal for the Heat. Running the offense through James. Beautiful finger roll by LeBron across the lane. Yeah, I like that. Post up, take Hibbert away to the opposite side, and then post LeBron on the weak side. James on a step back. So many have said LeBron needs to have a Cleveland-type LeBron game. Score 40. Carry the team. Right now he's got eight of the Miami 17. Running through LeBron. Nice. Fouled by George. Almost got the end one. And Hubie, people will criticize LeBron a lot. He gets more attention than anybody. The MVP is trying to carry his guys through their tough course. Well, we can see that. We can see it right early on. Is it the knee? Is it confidence? Well, we don't know what it is, but it's not the guy we've come used to. James with a block as Amundsen went to the basket. And LeBron freight train down the lane. And coming to the free throw line. And his aggression continues to be the most positive thing for Miami so far. Way you going to try to post Barbosa. Well, you know, they're trying to do that. It's the third time, Mike. Third time in a row to get him open. Haslam with the putback. And Udonis Haslam, who's really been struggling. Take away by Wade. Lead for James at the basket. And the Heat tighten it up to a three-point game. So you see, look how Miami started this game. You just think it was going to be a runaway. Ah, Indiana did not take advantage of all of their transition opportunities. They're right back in business. Nice attack of the rim by James, and they got Hibbert out from in front of the rim. LeBron able to rattle it in as he stopped Danny Granger with that quick behind-the-back dribble. James has 17 of the Miami 38. He has seven of their 15 field goals. Floater over Hibbert, and LeBron's done that at least one time in every game of this series. See, I'm surprised now, mainly because I, in that situation, Hibbert never even got the arm up. Wade cutting to the basket, so he's got a three and a dunk and a couple of field goals here for Dwayne in the last now, two. That minutes. was beautiful. LeBron James yelled up, Battier cleared out, and then they ran a backdoor move with Wade running on the baseline. Good attack by James. Hibbert waiting oh, and God. one for LeBron. And the chance for the three-point play, and there's the complete MVP package of speed and power. George lost the handle. Miami back the other way. A little helter skelter the last minute. James a floater. Two of those in this game. Well, he's been able to keep his dribble, and he works you one way off the pick and then back again, and then he'll move you. And once he feels he has it, that big first step, that gets him and creates the space. LeBron, a beautiful pass to Wade. Bang in a bucket. And about Dwayne has hit three field goals in the last about six minutes of action. James and Wade have all 11 Miami points in this third quarter. Huby, it's a four-point game. Well, you like with Wade. Two points in the first 22 minutes, 12 in the last seven. And the tomahawk jam by James. It's a two-point game. And since Wade hit that step-back three in the first half when he couldn't get around Paul George, he's a different guy. Wes, tough defense, Battier. James goes to get it. Here go the Heat on an 8-0 run, and LeBron to the basket, coming to the line to try to tie the game. Well, today, right from the opening gun, no way is LeBron James going to be denied as he's crossing half court with the ball. Wade fell down as he got the pass. Fans wanted to travel. It is Wade, a three in the lead. Right now, the high school and college rule is you fall down, it's a travel. In the pro basketball, it's not a travel. Wade, hits to Haslam. On the attack, James, what a oh, pass for wow. Wade! And what a show they are putting on in this third quarter. We're talking about eye-popping passes here. That was incredible. Barbosa, a lot of contact inside. Rebound for Miami. James attacking Barbosa, bang, and a bucket for LeBron. 37 in a row. Now that's, that's just sheer upper body strength and then acrobatic ability to take the contact and just watch how he keep, controls the ball and then spins it off the glass. The only ones to score this quarter. 38 consecutive points scored by James and Woods. George fronting LeBron, pass over the top to James. There's nothing you can do with LeBron down in there. I don't care who plays LeBron. Clock at three, James finding Joel Anthony. James on the putback. Oh, boy. Fans want the cylinder and the offensive interference not called by the official five-point lead. Chalmers is free. Not even close. Barbosa with James back. Goes at him. James with the block. Haslam just back in the game. He's got the rebound. 
Barbosa tried to take it away, but he fouled Haslam as he reached over the top. Trapping James keeps the dribble alive. It's Haslam for a big one. There you go. You done as Haslam. What a quarter he's had. The mid-range game. He was wide open. Two for Granger. Just hit a three out of that corner. Missed that one. James secures the rebound and gets fouled with 11.1 to go. And that should just about do it. He needed an all-NBA type of a game. Not just the points, the rebounds, and the assists, but everything else that he does, and then shoot the high percentage. Well, when we also put that Dwayne Wade in that category, Dwayne Wade got off to such a dismal start, you were feeling you know, hurt for him that he had to snap out of it. But then after 22 minutes, he raised his game to a whole new level, and it's just been absolutely beautiful to watch. His foot quickness and penetration, going to the basket, and then shooting a high percentage. Excellent. George misses the three. LeBron gets rebound number 18. And this series is tied at two games apiece. The Heat coming from behind to tie this Eastern Conference semifinal series at two. Tonight, the pivotal game five Indiana Pacers facing the Miami Heat. Battier. Jim Battier hits from downtown, and he has been struggling with that shot. They swing it one on the shot clock. George with a step back to three. Just did get it off. Here's Wade with James down at the baseline. It goes to Chalmers. This is on the short pop. James gets it out. Battier with a long three-pointer. George. LeBron is on it. Two on one with Wade. Goes all the way. And the rebound's so key. In fact, Mark, whichever club has won the rebound battle in this series has won each game. And on that subject, Joel Anthony able to keep it alive on that offensive board. Beautiful fee from LeBron James for Joel Anthony. Beautiful feed is right. Did you see how high LeBron jumped? LeBron goes to the driving hook. That's his second field goal. He has four points. Mike Miller, who has not been able to get into it because of some lower back issues, has checked in for the Heat. Got clocked to five. James to the step back and hits. Well, you live with that if you're Frank Vogel. Final seconds of the quarter. Here's LeBron for three, which has not been his forte. LeBron James just one of 11 from downtown over the first four games. A lot of standing again for Miami. The Hill defending on James. James pokes it back out. Another possession. James for three. That's the second three-pointer of the night. He's coming just one of 11 from beyond the three-point line. West met by Anthony and Battier. Bad pass, picked off by LeBron. Look out, here comes James. Put a little on that one. He did, I don't even know if that was a dunk. He just sort of threw it in. Two second differential between the game clock and shot clock. Hill for three. James is on it. Here comes James to way back to James. At the buzzer, that'll count. West now triple team gets it out for George. Missed on a three and rebounded by Chalmers. That yeah, Ranger is huge for this team. All this Battier knocks down another three from the corner. For early third quarter, Marv Albert with Steve Kerr and Cheryl Miller from American Airlines Arena in South Florida. James off the lead pass from Kuriak. Hibbert is blocked by Kuriak. James in the open floor. Beautiful peg to Wade. What a pass. Indiana looking to talk it over. One of the best passes you'll ever see from LeBron. Incredible awareness. Puts it on the money. That pass picked off. Wade flips it down. Beautifully. Wade to James. They are running at all cylinders here tonight. Chalmers, who has played well. Here's Norris Cole has just uh, checked in. Eric's supposed to making some 
Bucks are moves as LeBron is able to follow up. Mike Miller returns. Indiana has managed to hit only five of the last 21 shots. Well, it gives Miami credit for its stifling defense. Meanwhile, Collison comes up with a steal. He slowed down looking for the foul. Instead, James came up with the block. But an Indiana team that went 42 and 24 in the regular season, third in the East, strong finish. In that final month, they won 12 of their last 15. They knock off Orlando in five in the first round. Oh, LeBron with a bang. Robinson, back to Here comes James. See how LeBron surveys the floor as he's able to bring it across. And then nice pass to Hasler. James looking to put a move on Hansborough. And then shoots over him and hits. And it's just amazing how things just can turn, you know, on, on a play, on, on a moment, in a, maybe in a couple minutes. And it feels like they've turned here, but Indiana will have a chance to try to turn it back around in game six. Well, these are two consecutive as Haslam is able to drill it. Two consecutive strong games by Miami. Standing ovation for the Miami Heat as they end up shooting 61 percent they fall one point off their all-time postseason high for most points with 115. welcome to game six in indianapolis miami heat leaving this conference semi-final three games to two looking to advance while the pacers hoping to keep their season alive this one has been a rough aggressive rugged at times pugnacious series now, right now lebron james in the heat Looking to clinch and move on to the conference finals. George is just his second year, has shown great improvements. He's had his ups and downs in the playoffs, like a lot of young players. Wade throws a wild pass back out to James and gets inside. Ranger up on James. James drives, gets inside. Tough shot. Shot clock down to five. James with the jump shot. Big part of that is what Frank Vogel did and really made this team a lot about Hibbert. James out to Chalmers. Good open look for Mario Chalmers. Nails the three. They were 0 for 4 from downtown before that one. Ball deflected, still alive. Cole has it. Cole ahead to Wade. Back for James. And the flush. James drives, goes right, and Hibbert goes past him and makes it look easy. LeBron James now with 11 points. Meanwhile, the lead is only two because Dwayne Wade was sensational in that first half. What word top sensational? Because that's what he was. 26 first half point, 11 of 16 shooting. Here, look at this step. One step here, the left. How do you keep your balance? Terrific footwork, finish, and the foul. And then the bang shot. Look where this ball hits. High up off the board. Very few people go old school on the bank and then this. Shot fake, step through, and then arc it up over the top of the shot blocking Hibbert. But this is my favorite one. The split of the pick and roll, the two foot jump stop, and the slide by Dwayne Wade. The terrific first half performance. It's not the most points he scored in the half for the playoff game. That's 30. Remember, this is a guy who was an NBA Finals MVP. One of the terrific playoff performers always raises his level. That was so confusing early as James knocks down the jumper. Shot clock down to eight. James, little jab step, knocks down the jumper. LeBron James now with 15. James, the drive goes right at Hever. Top shot. 17 for LeBron James. Collison goes back door and lost the ball. Miller for three. That's good. Mike Miller, his fourth three-pointer of the game. And this is the largest lead of the night. James spinning. Chalmers at the buzzer. Puts in the three. Mario Chalmers from downtown. And the lead goes to 10. James gets inside. Banks it in. What a difficult shot for LeBron James. Battier gets it back. Back shot is good. Nice pass from LeBron James. Battier's first field goal. Seventh assist for James. James goes right at Hibbert. Layup won't go. And a foul on Hibbert. 
The crowd doesn't like it, but Hibbert's not saying a word as he picks up his third. And they took Hibbert out to get better defense. They missed a switch there. They trapped it, and LeBron James attacked David West. George on LeBron James. Now drives hard, puts up the shot, and gets it to go. It's back to 10. Shot clock winding down. James waiting, puts it up, puts it to the night. And that'll pretty much do it. 103 to 91. Miami wins three in a row to take the series in six games. They were tested, they were challenged, but they emerge victorious once again. And the Miami Heat going back to the Eastern Conference Finals. So many memorable moments in the Eastern Conference Finals over the years. Who will turn in the next great performance? Will it be LeBron James? He has certainly had his share already in this postseason. Or will it be Paul Pierce or someone from the Boston Celtics? The aging veteran, but still dangerous and talented group. It's the third straight year Boston and Miami have met in the postseason. Last year's second round is James to the basket. Well, you mentioned the different defensive philosophies. It just as good as Indiana is defensively, that's still Boston's strength. Teams are shooting under 41% against them in the playoffs. Ray Allen's first shot in air ball. Brandon Bass keeps it alive, but it goes to Turia. Wade gets behind the defense in a momentary defensive lapse from the Celtics. It's 4-0 heat. Turia plays less than five minutes. Wade sneaks in again back door and behind the defense and gets another layup. There's Pierce and James have had some classic duels battling each other. Especially back in 2008 when James played with the Cleveland Cavaliers. They had that great game seven goal back pass from Rondo. And James with one of the easiest shots he's had all season. Oh, Chalmers this time. The one to throw it to James. James is getting big minutes with all the injuries they've had in their front court during the course of the year. James, tough catch. Backs it in. That wasn't a great pass from Battier. James made it look easy. Nine points. A couple of assists already for LeBron James. Shot clock at seven. Pierce has the strength to deal with LeBron James. Not many players can say that. And not many players can do that. Petrus on James. Petrus is, is a good defender. James drives left-handed, puts it in. Ready shot from LeBron James. What a first quarter he's had. Just over five minutes gone by here in the second. Rondo left open and knocks it in. That's what was so cool for him in game seven when he had those nine straight points when Pierce fouled out in the fourth quarter. They were jump shots. Wade lost it, but he got hit, gets it to Miller. But Mike, that is his jump shot, and I love what the Celtics are doing, setting two picks for him. So when you try to go under, as James hits the jump hook, as you go under versus Rondo, you're talking about wide open jump shots. Chalmers a two-pointer. James nails the jumper. He quickly up by four. Here's a difficult shot. Rondo tried to tip it. Wade comes up with it. Fires a baseball pass to James. What a pass and an easy layup. Well, how does the best player in basketball get behind the defense that much? I don't know, but great pass by Wade to James. There may not be a quarterback controversy in Miami much longer. <laughs> Dwayne Wade may be the answer. Jones inside to Wade. Wade's starting to find some room to operate. Tries again. Flips it inside to James for the easy two. Pretty pass from Dwayne Wade. That's his sixth assist of the game. Shot clock down to six. Good ball denial from LeBron James. Pierce couldn't get it. Rondo fakes. Rondo drives. Oh, there's the fake. Flips it up block by James. And a 24-second violation. Pierce to the basket. Blocked by James. Pierce thought he got fouled. Now James with his second block here in the third quarter. James flips it up and in. 13-point lead. Petrus way off. James tips it to himself. Anyway, it looked like Wade hurt the right knee there. It was the left one that he recently had drained. James drives down to the basket, puts it in. Gets a tough rebound at one end, finishes at the other. Well, the Heat have blown this open. Under five to play. James drives on Garnett. Pull up shot. Banks it in. 31 points for LeBron James. Jones. 
James. Foul by Garnett, his fifth. Wade and James are just playing at an incredible level the past week. Miami takes game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. Welcome to Miami, where the Heat has certainly been on inside the American Airlines Arena. It's game two of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics. As Turiak brought Garnett on the drive. James throws it down. Garnett, long outlet to Pierce. Pierce settles himself, and that one won't go. Wave the rebound, almost taken away by Rondo. At least here in the first half, Rondo is having one of those special games. James inside, quick release. Another nice pass from Chalmers. Mario Chalmers has four assists. Garnett left open again. Not that time. Bass trying to fight for it. Battier did a good job. James kicks it out. Chalmers for three. It's good. Mario Chalmers once again. He's reaching in. I don't know if he's being smart there. He really took a chance. James picked up by Garnett. Back door to Wade. Oh, he puts it in. What a play from Dwayne Wade on a pretty pass. James spots up for three. That's good. The three-pointer's really been critical for Miami. They're 7 of 15. James will try another three. Same spot, same result. Wade inside, gets it to go. Meanwhile, James, how aggressive he plays defensively, Jeff, and rarely gets into foul trouble. But give him due credit for being able to stay out of foul trouble. Quick pass to Wade on the break, and lays it in. James is incredible with those kind of passes. It's a one-point game. Pierce blocked by James, ahead to Wade. Wade puts it up, and a foul! Inside, James won't go, the follow is good. Eight point lead. Garnett the lob. Rondo to Garnett, it's back to two. And a quick bucket, important for the Celtics. Wade drives, Pierce hit him. And that's gonna be it for Pierce. There are a couple of Celtics in the vicinity. But Pierce has just fouled out. Remember, again, he fouled out in game seven against Philadelphia. Wade hits that one. Three-point game. Rondo, chased by Haslam, picked up his dribble. Garnett comes back, nearly stolen by Wade. Dueling out to Ray Allen. An open three. It's good. Tie game. Ray Allen drills the three with 34 seconds remaining. Games to set the screen. Rolls down, gets the pass, layup. Won't go. Rebound taken by James. And the shot clock's turned off. Huge rebound. And they can hold it for the final shot. And I don't like this matchup for Boston. Rondo staring, now looking behind to see if the screen is coming. James puts it up. Won't go. Garnett the rebound at the buzzer. And we go to overtime in game two. Allen to Garnett. Short jumper, Garnett, bang shot, won't go. Garnett slaps his hands, upset with himself. That was an easy one. Wade the drive, to the basket, and a foul! Ray Allen trying to inch to help out. Throws it back out, the shot clock down to six. Wade telling Haslam to get out of the way. He's double team, finds Haslam. Haslam looking for an opening. Can't get it to go, James tips it in with the left hand. We're tied again. Rondo, hesitation, drives, layup, won't go, Haslam the rebound. Rondo slow to get up, he thought he got hit. Wade to James, to Haslam, throws it down. Heat by two. And Boston calls timeout. Rondo steps up for three, knocks it down. Rondo able to deliver, it's back to four. Chalmers over to James. Obviously, the Heat just need to hit their free throws, and this one's over. And they have exerted so much energy tonight, Boston. Can they regenerate that enthusiasm and energy going into game three? Well, their home crowd will certainly give them a boost, but it can only do so much. Rondo looking, 
Marquise Daniels back to Rondo. He's going to try another three. That's good. Rajon Rondo, 44 points. And that makes it a three-point game with 2.2 remaining. And Wade rattles that one in with 2.2 remaining. And that one probably clinched it on the way this game is going. Ray Allen catches, fires, and that'll do it. The Heat survive in a thriller and take a 2-0 lead in the Eastern Conference Finals. Welcome to Boston. We're at the TD Garden. The crowd is certainly fired up for Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals. After two victories in Miami, the Heat now on the road. Gains all nice pass to Turioff. Talk about ball movement. That was beautiful to watch from the Heat standpoint, and James throws a bullet, and the game is tied. Rondo to Pierce, Battier comes out to a Pierce, gets to the basket. Here's James quickly down the other end, and James banks it in with a foul. And it's obvious Miami, in their head to start the game, is even on makes, push the ball. As Chalmers dribbles it around, back out Battier, James fakes. Chalmers, good open look. Mario Chalmers, he is having a strong postseason. He had 22 points in game two. James inside the arc. And that's a two-pointer for LeBron James. As Pierce, a little fake to get rid of Battier. Not that time. James pulls up another two-pointer. When he has his jump shot going, he is absolutely unstoppable. Wade. Pass inside, gets it to James. Good aggressive defense, but James patiently waits and gets the layup. LeBron James off to a terrific start. Nine points already. Remember all the Deshaun Stevenson, LeBron James? Back and forth, James drives in, gets fouled, and puts it in. He has come out with a vengeance, and he has 11 points already in just eight minutes. Pierce and James have both come out strong. James tries another three. That's good. LeBron James, 14 points in nine minutes. He's six of eight from the field. And the Heat go up by four. Boy, the Heat shooting the lights out early. Pierce trying to draw a foul. He thought he got hit. So did Doc Rivers. Of course, every Celtic fan in the world thought that as well. James, pull-up jumper, puts it in. He is red hot. What a start for James. And the Heat go up by six. James posting up Pierce. I mean, that's just impossible to stop. Miller, right corner three. Garnett tips it, but right to Wade, blocked by Pierce, and Garnett the rebound. Pierce, nice feed inside, Bass, blocked from behind by LeBron James. Wade, knocked away by Allen. And a jump ball. Boy, we've seen some terrific individual defensive plays. James out to Battier. Battier drives inside. Nice pass from Battier. And LeBron James with 20 first half points. And early on, Miami had the requisite energy to play very well offensively, but they have just been struggling. Even that shot right there, that is an incredibly difficult shot. Yeah, this crowd from about a half hour before tip it's so fired up. James draws the foul, puts it in and one. Second time he's done that same move. This time he got hit as well. James drills it. Right now it's a one-man show on the offensive end for Miami. Good recognition by the Celtics to get Ray Allen an easy opportunity in the low post against Trump. They've outscored them 18 to 10 here in this third period. And James hits yet another. LeBron James now eight points in the period himself, 28 for the game. James takes the three, drives the floater. <laughs> he just hit some tough shots here in the third. He's got 30 for the game. James trying to answer, gets it in the wave. And then Wade flips it up and in. Miller off the dribble. Nice move from Miller with the left hand. Rondo to the basket. But they've got to help on the drive, knowing that they have no shot blocking. The help has to come from the perimeter. Again, like we saw in that Pierce post-up, a lot of standing and watching when you should be helping. Can't imagine this lineup was on the court very often during the season at all. These five particular players, nice pass. Chalmers to James. James individually has had a, another superb game. 32 points, seven rebounds, four assists. Well, after game two, one of the things he said was 
I asked him about his performance. He said it's kind of irrelevant. We lost the game, and you know, players might say that. He really felt that. He just wants to win. Chalmers, nice pass from LeBron James. But this lineup for Miami is getting easy baskets right now. That's the second straight layup. And Mike, to go back to you, I always wondered if players really say that because it's a politically correct thing to say or if they really mean it. Because for me, you have to take great pride in being able to put together a game like he did in game two. Well, I'm sure he's proud of it, and we'll look back at it someday, but he was legitimately disappointed as James drives in. James now with 34, eight straight points. The Eastern Conference Finals will have at least a game five as the Miami Heat's lead is cut to two to one. Boston Celtics take game three here on their home floor. Welcome to Boston and a packed and raucous TD Garden. It's game four of the Eastern Conference Finals. Chalmers, the runner, nice move. Pierce trying to throw it outside, got deflected. Mike Miller has come on early for Miami. Garnett getting his usual break. James down the lane. And you see a difference with Garnett already out. Fast turnaround shot. Now, does Doc Rivers, does he break from his normal minutes rotation? Is James down low? Quick layup. That's nine straight points by Miami. Daniel's always been a very good defensive player. With Dallas with the Oh, alley up to James. Perfect pass from Chalmers. And the lead cut to six. Bass is now 49 for 53 from the free throw line in the playoffs. He's always been a good free throw shooter. Now, he's actually third all time in playoff free throw percentage. He hasn't shot as many as some of the greats, obviously. But he's clutch at the line in the postseason. James, quick shot. And he hurt, hurt himself a little bit, grabbing his left hip as he backtracks. James to Haslam. Haslam back inside. Nice pass from Udonis Haslam and James with 12 first quarter points. Meanwhile, Rajon Rondo start. James double team slips it up and in. Once again, James himself right now keeping Miami in the game. Chalmers blocked by Petrus. Haslam out to Battier. James down the lane, hit by Bass. Shot good and one. He took a hard shot and still able to knock it in and a chance for a three-point play. Rondo to the basket, layup won't go. Garnett fighting for it, Haslam comes out of it. Here's James. Nice crossover and the foul. Pretty play from James. Able to sneak past Pierce and a chance for a three-point play. Ray Allen blocked by James. Haslam picks it up. Nice pass ahead to Wade and Rondo fouls Wade. Smart play from Rondo, but that is his third foul. Ray Allen gets to the corner, two-pointer. Ray Allen found the mark again. Last three games, despite the ankle injury, he's really getting a much better feel, knocking down jumpers. James to the basket. 22 for LeBron James. Wade. Wade now. With his third field goal of the third quarter. Garnett double team. Excellent help defense. Throws it away. Here's James. Ahead to Cole. Cole goes up. James banks it in. Tie game. The Heat have come back from 18 down to tie it up. And the last time they ran the Garnett Rondo pick and roll instead of trapping it, they switched, which they did again. Inside the Garnett, deep in the post, and gets it to go. Great design of the way to get Garnett against the switch. Deep Rondo, again, threaded the needle. 15 assists for Rondo. Crowd on its feet here in Boston. Way to James, open three, puts it in. Ties the game with 37 and a half seconds remaining. And the way James pick and roll, the slip, the miscommunication, and the three, and Miami set up for a two for one. A big three-pointer for LeBron James. Rondo looking for Garnett. Petrus dangerous pass. Rondo to the basket. And a whistle away from the ball. It's on Garnett. Kevin Garnett calls for a foul as Rondo went to the basket. 
and the Heat will have a chance to win it on the final possession. Oh, the two of them going out of James pumps his fist. Garnett can't believe the call. Well, again, miscommunication, no rotation, no switch, leaves the MVP wide open. And he yes. hasn't made many jump shots tonight, Mike, but he made the one to tie it. Battier will inbound. Celtics do not have a foul to give. And they have Pierce on Battier because he has five fouls instead of being on James. Petrus right up on James. Five seconds to play. James looks. James drives. Kicks it out. Deflected to Haslam. Haslam puts it up with a buzzer. Overtime here in game four. Rondo the drive. The layup. Short. Haslam with the rebound. 16 boards for Haslam to go along with 12 points. And an offensive foul on LeBron James. He's fouled out. First Pierce, now James, with still 151 remaining in OT. Michael Petrus hooks in to play very similar to what happened with Garnett on the other play. Guys hooked in, they just get off balance. James is confused as Garnett was on his call. Wade comes off the screen. Again, Boston no longer with a foul to give. And they were looking three for Chalmers. Wade. Picked up by Daniels, final seconds. Wade looks up, head fake, puts up a three for the win. No good! Celtics win it, and the conference final is tied at two games apiece. The Eastern Conference Finals are back in Miami. So far, four games, four home wins. Two games have gone to overtime. Who will gain the upper hand tonight as we get set for game five? Chalmers to James. Switches to the left hand, and then tips it in with the right hand. Pierce gets the pass, kicks it out wide open, Ray Allen. And Allen, who had four three-pointers in game four, is really starting to get his legs back underneath him again. And very good baseline cut by Pierce. Garnett gave it back to him, and that helped create the three-point shot. Oh, and a pass and wave with the finish. Rondo being worked on, Eddie Lassert. The head athletic trainer checking out that left sleeve. I mean, he dislocated that elbow. It was game three in the conference semifinals last year. Now, he didn't miss any games because of it. And he finished that game. He basically was playing with one arm. But it certainly hurt his effectiveness as James banks it in. Feels the contact and still able to throw it in. Allen, back door, trying to get it to Steensner and a turnover. Chalmers gets it ahead to James. James. Nice hesitation. One with power, one with finesse. And it's a seven-point lead. Rondo still on the court with the two fouls. Pierce blocked by James as he rejects Pierce into the first row. Both coaches have talked all series long about ball movement, ball movement, please. And these defenses can be so good. Hard enough against it without the ball movement. Or with it, I should say. James, all oh, nice, pretty play again on his attack to the basket. Mike, and that brings me back to where I think he should catch the ball late in games. James this time backs in the jumper. A nice array of buckets for LeBron James, who already has 11 points and six rebounds. Well, Doc Rivers was on the newly named NBA competition committee that goes over things like that. Try and talk with him later, see if you can get some of your ideas in. He didn't listen to me when I was an assistant coach. He's not going <laughs> to listen to me as a broadcaster. I don't think I would either. You two back with the Knicks. Back in the 90s as James hits another. Six of eight from the field. That one a three-pointer. And he's got 14 points in 14 minutes. Wade posting up Rondo. James against Petrus. Pulls up. Another banker. Well, he's made some shots that he makes it look easy, but they are difficult. And he's now seven of nine from the field. Wade trying to find an opening. Inside, there he gets James in for the layup. Won't go. Rebound tipped by Pierce. James has it. And the follow. The more active he is with random cuts against the zone, like that one, the better serve they are going to be offensively. James penetrates. Kicks it out. James Jones wide open. Hits a three. Big bucket from Jones off the bench. Rondo 12 assists. James on the move. 
That's what you talked about, even against a zone. Get him on the move, and he's unstoppable like that. Wade to James, puts up the three. Bang! Miami by two. Both teams now on the penalty. Both teams with multiple timeouts as the crowd gets on its feet. Coming up on a minute remaining here in game five. Pierce for three. It's good. Paul Pierce from way downtown. And Boston leads by four. James has it. On the drive, James goes to the basket, lays it in. Quick play with 9.4 remaining. Allen trying to get free. They lob it into Garnett. Knocked away by Haslam, but a foul. And Garnett will shoot two free throws with 8.8 .8 remaining. Oh, two clutch free throws. Boston has hit their last nine from the line. Miami uses their final timeout. Jones gets it to Chalmers. Back up top to Wade. Down to five seconds. Wade puts up a three. Won't go. Rebound Garnett. Throws it ahead to Dooling. And the Boston Celtics win game five and take a 3-2 lead. A huge win on the road as Miami now one loss away from elimination. A stunning result here at the American Airlines Arena. Welcome to Boston and a sold out TD Garden. It's game six of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Celtics and the Miami Heat. Boston with a three to two edge and a chance to move on. Wade double teamed as he has seen all series long. Chalmers spots up and that's a three. There's Garnett guarded by LeBron James. Pierce, that was short and James the rebound. He's only shooting 29% from downtown. James blows past Pierce and throws it down. And the Heat quickly with a four-point lead. Well, good attack in semi-transition, but if you saw Bass there, his responsibility is to cut James off on that penetration. Paul Pierce all series long, having to guard LeBron James. James with the jump shot is good. Well, James in an isolation, good jab strap, good balance and knocks it in. Allen is on LeBron James, wants to post him up on the mismatch. Shot clock down to three. Difficult shot from James, gets it to go. Pierce guarded by James. Trying to get it inside, deflected. Celtics sloppy, they've got four turnovers. James on the run, gets inside, count it, and one. James with the ball, full, full head of steam, takes the hit from Steensma, and with tremendous body control and strength, finishes the play. James for three, puts it in. LeBron James from downtown. He's got 12 already, and the Heat have scored 10 in a row. Well, it's LeBron James so far. The attack in semi-transition, the jab step, jump shot, and this is where he and Miami is at their best. When he has the ball off the turnover in the middle of the floor, attacking and finishing. Petrus on James. James spins, trying to draw some contact. Boy, what a great start for LeBron James. Six of seven from the field. Pick up the fight. And that's what Paul Pierce described this series, the good old-fashioned bar fight as James hits it again. And, Mike, they went to the zone, and LeBron James did exactly what he should. Get in the middle of the zone. It's more like a switchy man. He was guarded by Rondo, and he posted him up and shot right over the top of him. Rondo after hitting his first four shots, this is his next two. I'm sure Doc Rivers doesn't want him to hesitate then. James, meanwhile, he is knocking down everything. He's eight for nine from the field, 18 points, and we still have just under nine to play in the second. James tries again and puts it in again. Nine for 10 from the field. Right now, unstoppable, and some of these are tough, tough shots. James again. <laughs> He right now is at a special zone here in the first half. As Pierce picks up his third, Jeff. And that's a, that's a tough foul. James, without the headband, draws another foul. And look at LeBron James. When you're making and taking these tough shots, people are naturally going to start to lose some discipline and react on shot picks. These are difficult shots. So when James has Rondo posted and he turns, and he looks like he's going to shoot it, you're going to react more than you should. The Channing defense. LeBron James hasn't seen that yet. Petrus, good defense there, though. Double team. Chalmers puts up a three and nails it. And that shows you that particular 
Play shows you how strong LeBron James is. A big double team, and he still rifles a pass out of it. Bosch down low against Ray Allen. Turns, little jump hook, won't go. James comes flying in and throws it down. He's got 27 first-half points. Petrus forgets to block out, just watching the ball. James takes advantage, gets the running start. And a 20-second timeout as James just throws it down. Look how high above the rim he is. Memorando has the highest scoring game in these playoffs, the 44 points in game two. James fouled by Garnett. Celtics, meanwhile, nine turnovers. Rondo's tried to force, make some extra special passes as James hits another, a 30-point first half. A dominant first half. How do you measure the balance between riding your hot hand and making sure the other guys around you are finding their own rhythm? Uh, we just got to be aggressive. All of us, including myself, got to continue to be aggressive in the second half. 24 minutes. How do you make sure you handle appropriately the pressure with your season on the line? Well, there's nothing to handle. I mean, uh, for us, it's win or go home. So, you know, I'm, I plan on playing the whole second half. They were able to keep the pace where they wanted. The attack and semi transition there, the shot fake. The little bump and fade, and then the fade against Beatrice. The offensive rebound. And this one, the step back going right, is very difficult to balance up on. James, he has been in complete control so far. Falling away, gets that to go off the glass. The largest lead of the night, Miami by 17. Rondo trying to poke it away, and James floats it up and in. 34 now for LeBron James. He's hit a wide array of shots. Jump shots, threes, dunks. Rondo to Pierce. And he couldn't hold on. James down the other way, kicks it out. Chalmers right corner, that's a three. And what a big turnaround. It could have been a 10-point game, instead it goes to 15. James jab steps on Petrus. Now the jump shot. That's been going in all night long. He's got 36 points, 15 of 20 from the field. James for three, does it again. 39 points, and Miami back up by 13. What a performance so far for LeBron James. Dwayne Wade is loving his partner in crime. James blows past Pearson, throws it down. James again. James, 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 James comes flying in. He is knocking down everything. In an elimination game, he has been dazzling so far. 39 points, 16 of 21. He's hit a couple of threes, has nine rebounds, and has stopped every Boston run. James, turnaround jumper, drills it. 41 points. And the lead back to 13. James and Rondo have played the entire way. Rondo misses James, his 11th rebound to go along with 41 points. And we've just begun the fourth quarter. Wade on the pull-up, kicks his legs and knocks it in. He's got 11. And the lead back to 15. James again, 43 points. He is knocking down jump shot after jump shot. Mixing it in with some dunks, some alley-oops, some spin moves, some fallaways. James drives. Inside the Wade. Another nice pass. Wade with the finish. And this has been one impressive dominant performance. James flips it up. Left-handed. Banks it in. He's got 45. A 25-point lead. It's a great cut and by James and a very good pass by Wade. One of the great clutch playoff performances while facing elimination. LeBron James, right from the opening tip, just took it to the Boston Celtics with a masterpiece tonight here at the TD Garden. 30 in the first half. These are all second half. The one-foot step back and then the little floater as he posts up Rondo at the elbow. And then the 17-foot catch, that jab step, jump shot game. And then his post game, he was going to work down low more so than we've seen at any point in this series. And there will be a game seven in the Eastern Conference Finals. LeBron James put the heat on his shoulders and carried them to this dominant victory. LeBron, no player has to play under the kind of scrutiny and pressure that you do. How do you stand and deliver the kind of performance you did tonight? 
Uh, I just wanted to try to lead my team the best way I could. Uh, whatever I needed to do out on the floor, I tried to be there for them tonight. And, uh, you know, I'm glad we was able to, to get this win and now, uh, you know, force the game seven. What is it like knowing that regardless of what happens with the team, the failure rests on your shoulders? Well, uh, you know, I just go out and just do what I've been taught, and that's to play at a high level and have fun with it. And at the end of the day, um, I won't regret anything. If I know I played hard and I gave it my all, I won't regret anything, no matter the outcome. And, uh, you know, that's where I've been this whole season. You exercise some demons in this building, but this is a proud Celtic team. What will it take to beat them in the seventh game? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a championship caliber team, and uh, we're not going to celebrate about this win. Uh, we had to win this game. We wanted to win this game. It's a good win for us, but the series um, is a one-game series now, and it's in our building, so we look forward to the challenge. Welcome to Miami and Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. It's been a riveting series. Not always pretty, sometimes contentious, uh, perhaps fitting. It goes down to a final game for the right to move on to the NBA Finals. LeBron James with a just absolute spectacular performance in game six. How will the Celtics respond? Can they get another road win here in Miami when it's been so difficult for the road team all season? And Bass individually did a very good job in game six. And it also keeps Paul Pierce out of foul trouble, Mike. And there is a cross match now, which makes it more difficult for James to get back to him. Haslam the rebound off the Pierce miss. And Garnett the foul. And I see you shaking your head. You don't particularly like that foul by Garnett, even though it stopped an easy two. LeBron James has been putting up superb numbers all series, all playoffs. But in game six, with the season on the line, the game on the road, and the possible ramifications if they lost, it was an amazing performance. Doc Rivers called it sensational, but he also said they could do a lot better. He caught the ball wherever he wanted to. Um, he had a lot of dunks. Those aren't very tough shots. Um, he made a lot of jump shots, uh, but they were, you know, there's a difference between being the next to a guy and being into a guy. And so on those clips, there was a lot of clips where we were next to the, him, uh, but we, we have to guard him better. And then if he's still making shots, then we have to do something about it. Nice pass inside. And James with his first field goal. He had about 36 points at this point in game six by game. Rondo on Wade. He's now at the point. James gets inside, blocked by Stevensma, but a foul on the way up as Ray Allen picks up the foul. That's his first. Big weight disadvantage for Rajon Rondo. Bad pass. Stolen by Ray Allen, his third steal. Rondo sidestep blocked by James. And he's down. After releasing the ball, the collision, Rondo shaken up, crashing into camera people and photographers along the baseline there. Well, Rondo pushed it, even though it was a one-shot situation. He got hit after James had already blocked the shot. That should be a foul, but Rondo landed, came back to normal floor position, and then the momentum of James came into him. James drives the floater inside. Ten points for LeBron James, three-point game. James on the drive, and he's fouled. Ray Allen with Bosch on him. Fires away, short. Rebound, Petrus goes over Chalmers to get it stolen by James. Here comes James, lobs to Wade. Back to James! What a play from Wade to James. And the lead is cut to five. This is a huge play. Great effort on the defensive rebound by Petrus, or offensive rebound, and then the two-on-one fast break. A chance to go up nine. Instead, the Heat cut it to five on a spectacular two-on-one fast break. Mass once again on James. James drives his foul. Won't get it to go, but right back to the free throw line. Allen fumbled the pass. Now throws it away. Thomas telling James to go. He does. Lays it in with the left hand. Thomas and James have been annoyed with each other a little bit here in the third quarter. That one worked all right, though. Here's straight on three. Past the midway point of the third. 
Wade on a pull up. That's good. Wade getting hot. Heat with their first lead since the first quarter. They've come back from 11 down. Ryan Hollins back in again. Hollins, who has seen limited duty, played important minutes in the first half. Here he is out there in the third as Garnett sitting. James drives on him, hop step, keeps his pivot foot off. Pretty play from LeBron James. Garnett for two. And Bosch with a rebound. Bosch, 14 points, five boards. James on the drive to the rim. Foul, counter, and one. Remember, he had 24 free throws in game two. Hits that one. Miami by two. Five to shoot. Ray Allen fires away. Short. James the rebound. His 10th rebound to go with 20 points. Drives to the lane. LeBron James throws it down. Miami back up by one. Well, you can't leave Brandon Bass on an island, and Brandon Bass has to give a little bit more cushion. But Ray Allen's got to put his body in front, not swipe at the ball. Where's the help? And I know where the king is right now. He's living at the rim. James on the drive. Bosch hits a three. Chris Bosch again. Bosch with his third three-pointer of the game. And the Heat lead by four, their largest lead of the night. Over five minutes gone by here in the fourth. James looking, drives, bank shot, it's good. The Heat on a roll, they lead by six. That's right back up on James. This time shuts him off, shot clock down to five. James fires a three, bang! LeBron James from well beyond the arc. And the Heat lead by seven. James to Bosch. Bosch flips it up and in. What an imprint he's had. Chris Bosch, 19 points, 8 of 10 from the field. Petrus bellies up on James. James goes to the rim again. And a hard foul. He'll go back to the line. A chance to increase the lead as Miami on the verge of advancing to the finals. It's the last time out. And he has played the entire game. He would have played the entire game in game six if it wasn't a blowout. It's one of two. His numbers in this series and throughout the postseason, just extraordinary. Meanwhile, LeBron James and Chris Bosh come out for the Miami Heat and get a huge ovation from the Heat fans. LeBron James and the Heat's dreams of a championship still very much alive as they overcome a 3-2 deficit to win the Eastern Conference Finals in seven games. Chesapeake Energy Arena is alive as these fans are delirious about their thunder. And why not? Tonight, they'll host game one of the 2012 NBA Finals. Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Miami Heat. James with a scoring machine in the conference finals against Boston. Six out of the seven games scored 30 and got Durant up in the air. The only true weakness for Miami defensively is with all their cross matches, You've got to be able to locate the best player and best scorer on your opponent as James knocks it in. Bosh. Well, he was so good shooting the ball in game seven. Again, this is just his fourth game back after missing nine in the playoffs. Chalmers. We've talked all playoffs long. The Chalmers, the bigger the game, the more he's into it. Harden now on LeBron James. James drives past him, and an easy layup there for LeBron James. He's got six. This is a tough matchup for Harden. James fouls. And they're gonna say in the act of shooting. Turnover stolen by James, and throws it down. Durant already with one foul, looked like he was ready to stop the play and made the smart move not to pick up his second. Absolutely, he's too valuable to take a foul in transition like that. Ibaka open, hesitated, rebound Battier. 
they're really committing to James Harden on the pick and roll to try to take away his split game as James in transition gets all the way to the rim. The Thunder have picked up their defense a bit. James though is open, banks it in. A two-pointer. And LeBron James with 14. Chalmers gets in the paint. Keeps his dribble nicely. Shot clock winding down and James rattles in a three. His first three-pointer, but the seventh from Miami. They're seven of 11 from downtown. James trying to quiet the crowd. Oh, throws it in with the left hand. It's a little shoulder bump from Perkins as he goes past. Westbrook, a long three-pointer, back of the rim. And James, good boxing out, grabs his fifth board. And he's done a good job pressuring the ball when they run their offense through Perkins. Drives again, and once again off the glass. Back-to-back -back aggressive moves from LeBron James, and he's got 21 as Battier lines up a three and hits that one. Shane Battier with his fourth three-pointer, and the Heat back up by five. James puts his head down, throws it down, and a foul. And I believe it's going to be on Durant. That's his second and a chance for a three-point play for LeBron James, who now has 23. James and Cephalosha battling. James drives. Fires it up, banks it in. What a tough shot and the foul. Two Thunder players all around him, and LeBron James with a chance for a three point play. Wade splits, back up LeBron James, drives hard, count it and one. Again, a strong move from LeBron James and a chance for the three point play. James, now seven of them. Nine from the line, he's got 30 points. The Oklahoma City Thunder take game one. Eric Spolster said, we have to play our game offensively, but they played their game too easily as LeBron James gets inside and lays it in. James, Durant already has a foul. James puts it up and in, it's 18 to two. Harden just five points in game one. Other players play big minutes, pick up the slack. James attacks and gets it to go. Sepalosha did such a fine job on LeBron James in the fourth quarter. James, though, makes it look easy. Quick move. And LeBron James now with eight points already. Well, it started with the attack, the pick and roll here. Wade, very good pocket bounce pass to James, who goes by Kendrick Perkins for the layup. You see everything going to the basket. The switch, Wade loves the right to left crossover, and then the post move. The spin to the left shoulder, the pump fake, and the jump hook, and then the face up against Seth Flosha, the drive by, the left hand reverse. Terrific performance to start this game. Wade James. Seth Flosha throws it. Bad pass, Bosch with the steal. James drives, powers in, and gets the layup to go. Pump fakes, puts up a three, and not a great shot that time from Durant. The switch of Bosch on the pin down flattened him out as Chalmers knocks in the transition three. James, little jab step, shot clock down to seven, backs up with Ibaka on him. James drives past him, head fake, puts it up, banks it in. And again, with a shot blocker like Ibaka, you have to show him the shot, which James did after coming to the jump stop. James drives, draws the foul on Ibaka. Nobody has three fouls in this game. Plenty with two. James, oh, he made a couple of those in the fourth quarter the other night. That left-handed shot. They switch Perkins onto him off the pick and roll. He attacks. James gets inside. Blocked by Cephalosha. James right back up and in. And he's got 18 points. James spins left hand again. This time won't go, but a foul. And Cephalosha does not like the call, but he picks up his first. Cephalosha back on LeBron James. Kicks it up top. Battier left wide open. Nails another. Second straight game. Battier with four three-pointers. He's been huge tonight again. Tremendous spacing by Miami. And a foul on Durant. That's going to be four on Kevin Durant. Chalmers fakes a three. On the drive. Inside passed away. Won't go, James, the rebound. And James is fouled. Durant on the bench with four fouls. James the drive, gets it to go. He's got 26. Shot clock at seven. James looks up at the shot clock. James on the drive. 
inside pass and thrown down by Bosch. Crowd wanted a charge, but that was a flop. Late in the shot clock, Westbrook, good individual defense, probably a little bit of a flop, and James finds Bosch as Collison rotates up. James foul, and Miami evens up the NBA Finals. First home loss of the playoffs for the Thunder. James, the rebound, goes back up. And looked like there was something there, unless it was blocked. Either it was a discontinuation or a jump ball should have been. James with the jump shot, gets it a go. In game two, nine of his ten field goals were inside the paint. He got the shots he wanted. Nice feet inside, and James gets a layup. Well, Russell Westbrook is not immune to the criticism you gentlemen alluded to just prior to that break. In fact, he said, I hear every single bit of it. And he said, but I'm not going to make any adjustments regardless of what anybody says. I take a great deal of confidence from my teammate Kevin Durant, who tells me constantly how much he appreciates what I do for this basketball team. As LeBron again gets on the offensive glass and a putback. LeBron James, excellent play right here. Yeah, the only one for the Heat on the offensive glass. James, hot step. And LeBron James with a superb first quarter. Ten points, five rebounds. Heat by six. Kevin Durant's got to put his body in front of James and make them kick the ball out to the front. Durant with his shot blocked. You don't see that often. James, the drive. Scoop layup. Brian James, six of nine from the field, and getting it to the rim easily here in the first half. Way left open, gets it to James, who just checked back in. Misses, gets his own rebound, gets it back, and foul. He has been a demon down low, and will head to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Brand stolen by Chalmers. Boy, he saw that coming. Nice outlet to Wade. Mario Chalmers with the defensive play. LeBron James with the outlet. It's their first field goal in about four and a half minutes. Battier gets it to go. A hot shooting shame. Battier does it again. Here comes James. Heat looking to push. James drives inside. And a foul. That's going to be two on Durant. And a chance for a three-point play for LeBron James. Spectacular move by James, but an absolute trotting Oklahoma City defense in transition leaves Durant out on an island. LeBron, aside from the threes by Shane, much of your offense has come inside the paint. How much of that is schemes versus energy? We're a tight team. We just want to attack for pressure on the defense. We just have to do that. You threw great energy at that team. They're still hanging around. What does it take? It's the finals. Um, uh, we're not trying to blow them out. We're just trying to win each quarter and put ourselves in a position to win late. Westbrook to spin, pass inside, try to jam it in there. That time a little out of control. James to Wade, and Wade puts it down. Durant with the three fouls, didn't want to go near him. James, hot step, lays it up. Nice soft touch. And LeBron James with his first points of the third quarter. Chalmers and Wade play catch. Wade kicks it out, James for three, puts it in. Thunder back up by one. James powers in, trying to draw a foul, and he does. It's Collison's fourth. He jumped over the half court line and never got in the backcourt. Harden, meanwhile, loses the ball. James the drive. Count it and one. Durant is fifth foul, and James puts Miami up by six. Under two and a half remaining. Beat by five. James puts his head down, drives inside, and puts it in off the glass. But they played earlier in the shot clock. Attacked right across half court. The little twisting layup by James, but it starts with the good screen, playing with a little bit more offensive pace. No foul, Scott Brooks is yelling. And a blocking foul on Harden as he tried to draw the charge. Big one right there from LeBron James. Miami will take a 2-1 lead in these NBA Finals with a hard-fought 91-85 victory. And you see right away what you were talking about in the open. Kevin Durant on Chalmers, Seflosha on James, and 
Westbrook on way. And Bosch on target for the first shot of the game. They isolate James with Cephalosha, gets past him inside. Perkins greets him, misses. James the rebound. Back up and in. He's done that a number of times. Westbrook to the rim. Bosch greeted him. James releases down the other end and banks it in. Very physical start, perhaps the most physical to start as you would expect as the series moves on. Bosch cuts to the basket and a nice bounce pass from James. And Durant should give all the help right here. That's a three-pointer call. The rookie steps up, was wide open. And the rookie had a great start to the season. He's played some good minutes in the playoffs. Sometimes seems overwhelmed, but he's not afraid. Sets up for another three and knocks it down. Norris Cole, two huge three-pointers, and it's back to 11. James drives on Cephalosha. Tries again, gets inside, left-handed. Boy, he makes that look easy, and it's so hard right from the start. Every possession is get James the ball, get him in position to attack, and go to it. Simple isolation basketball. Ball knocked away. Lee passed away for the finish. Well, I think both teams are excellent in transition. But over the course of the game, Oklahoma City has to play fast. James Jones from downtown. And a 17-point lead has been cut to four. 13 straight points, heading back to Cole's three to end the first. James Westbrook looking to help a little bit. Back out Chalmers. Chalmers an open look. That's good. James Jones off the dribble. Back up top. LeBron James down the lane. Layup is good. Once again, gets to the rim. And if you're short Jabaka, you have to close out short to James and make him shoot over the top. Bosch gets it inside. Nice spin from Chris Bosch. Back to one. Well, LeBron James, when single covered in the post, has proven to be overpowering. So the double teams are starting to come, but they have to be disciplined. Here, first pass out. Norris Cole makes his second three, and this is the one that Westbrook overcommitted, which left Chalmers open at the three-point line. Nice spacing by Chalmers to get in James's line of vision. And then James is always trying to bait people off the dribble. He sees Harden peeking, and he gets James Jones a knockdown three-point shot. James goes right at Cephalosha, banks in another. Powerful to the rim. Ten points, eight assists, six rebounds. Chalmers sets, puts it up. That won't go. James rifle passed away. And oh, what a pass from LeBron James. His ninth assist. And Miami has regained the lead. As Bosch drives the lane, kicks it out, Battier. Chalmers, the floater. And Chalmers, who's really been struggling with his shot, has three field goals here tonight. James gets to the rim. Chalmers, as the trailer hits a three. And Miami with their largest lead of the night. Timeout, Oklahoma City. Coming up on the midway point of the third. Another strong quarter for Miami. Chalmers tries again. A high arcing shot. He knocks it down. 13 for Chalmers. James. Harden on an island. Turnaround. Back shot. Seven point lead. Largest of the night for Miami. Now Durant back on James. Knocks down the jumper. 20 points for LeBron James. He has their last eight points, and this equals their largest lead of the night. Durant, bad pass stolen by James. James drives on Durant, falls down. Fisher picks it up. James slow to get up. It's a five on three. Fisher to the basket. Oh, what a block from Wade. James down the other end now. Pulls up and banks it in. What a turnaround. Oklahoma City had numbers as James is now limping up the floor and Wade with a marvelous block. Falling down, slipping on that play. Again, he gets up. Obviously not right. Comes down, he'll make a basket while he's limping. But you can see now how he's laboring going up the floor. Calls to come out. And a huge ovation as he's set to check back in. 
He was still limping a bit as he went to the scorer's table. James with five to shoot. Tries a three. Bang! LeBron James from downtown. How about James? Gets back on the floor. He's obviously still limping and nails the three-pointer. And we saw a similar shot against Boston in the crucial game seven. Terrific extension and follow through. And James still bothered by that injury. Comes back on the floor, hits a huge three, and gets some help going to the bench with his team leading 99-96. Meanwhile, LeBron James does not come back out on the floor as he's hurting once again. Way with Cephalosha on him. Cephalosha fights over the screen. Chalmers on the drive, gets inside and banks it in. What a performance tonight from Mario Chalmers. Six point game, 10.6 remaining. Westbrook turns it over and that will do it. The Miami Heat survive game four and take a 3-1 lead in the NBA Finals. And for Oklahoma City, first time facing elimination in these playoffs. Durant throws it away to Chalmers. James on the break and the finish. It's hard dealing with that frustration at times. And one thing Miami did right there was they were trapping Westbrook on that initial pick on the ball. Westbrook can't finish. Cephalosha couldn't grab the rebound. James and Wade the other way. Cephalosha remains on LeBron James who gets inside. Count it and one. And that's two on Cephalosha. He lost where James is as hard as that is to believe as he went back door. Tremendous play design by Eric Spolstra. Harden the runner, well short, James the rebound. We're midway through the first. James drives right at Ibaka, count it, and a foul. Harden and James battling off the ball. Miller will try another three. Back to back threes. Hadn't hit one all series in here in game five. Comes off the bench and knocks down a couple. The Heat coaching staff, they love this kid Cole. And how tough he is. Puts up a three, puts it in. Norris Cole does it again off the bench. And it's a nine point Heat lead. Durant blocked by James, although he thought he was fouled. Durant now is guarding LeBron James. Pass inside, Fisher trying to break it up. Bosch with a huge height advantage, just overpowers. Eight points for Bosch. Harden back on James. Quick spin, drive right at Perkins and banks it in. So strong going to the rim. But Harden's got to do a better job of staying in front. It was a good move. It wasn't a great move. But the strength, did you see the contortion of the body to fend off Perkins and still have the strength to put the ball in the basket? James to drive. Inside the way. Battier for three. James, the offensive rebound, finds Bosch. Largest lead of the night. Shot clock down to five. James kicks it out. Miller for three. Bang! Mike Miller. Four for four from downtown, and the Heat lead by 15. Durant, stolen by Chalmers. Back to LeBron James, lays it in. An avalanche from Miami. It's 53-36. James is fouled. And he'll get to the line. Jeff LeBron James on a mission all season. 13 points, five assists, everything to the basket. Drives right through Abaka's face for that and one opportunity. Blows by Harden, contorts and finishes against Perkins. MVP regular season. Spectacular performances at the most important times, whether it was Game four against Indiana, game six against Boston. The consistent, the sustained excellence that he's had. And he wants to close it out tonight. James again drives inside. Ibaka stays with him and he still puts it in. Durant drives and got a little fancy with a dribble and turned it over. Chalmers, good pursuit, comes back the other way. James lowers the shoulder. 
Chalmers hits a three. Big turnaround right there. Zephalosha blocked by Wade. He did that at the end of game four as Westbrook barreled into James. Danny Crawford said, play on. James drives, kicks it out. Battier for three. Again, another three-pointer for the Heat in the lead. Back to 11. Ibaka the jump shot. James pulls down his seventh rebound. So we're all along with seven assists. Battier hits another three. Miami lighting it up from downtown. Bosch down the lane. That good. And a foul. Chris Bosch with a strong play in the lead back up to 11. Four fouls on Perkins. Harden trying to draw the foul. Stripped by James. One man to beat. James goes at Fisher. And Fisher makes sure he stops the layup. Miami leading by 17 here in game five. Looking to clinch their franchise's second championship. Wade throws it to James down the lane. Layup banks it in. Largest lead of the night. Wade goes up, finds James on the bailout. But the finish is so exquisite to adjust, adapt, avoid, and then knock in a layup to put him up 19. James has 19 points, nine assists, and seven rebounds. Harden from way downtown. That won't go. Ibaka tries to tip it. James comes up with it. James with Durant on him. Bosch will try a three-pointer. That's good. Everything going down for Miami. A 22-point lead. Their 11th three-pointer of the game. Westbrook blocked by James. What an onslaught from Miami once again. An incredible offensive performance. And Oklahoma City had that chance early in the third. As Bosch just finds himself wide open. Miller, another three. Six three-pointers from Mike Miller. And then I think Mickey Harrison, the owner, as James hits Wade on a beautiful cut and finish. I think Mickey Harrison doesn't get enough credit for his patience in letting Pat Riley do what he's done so very well. They had a number of very difficult years as Durant fouls James in clutch situations. Games two, three, and four all tight. James in game two hits that bank shot with about a minute left. And then the driving, twisting layup in game three. Game four, the well-documented cramps. And then the three that broke the tie for good. And then here tonight, 13 assists, 21 points. Just been attacking the basket. Thunder still trying to battle. Trying to find a way. Durant shot short. Collison's tip misses. Ball knocked loose. Chalmers and Fisher. And James comes up with it. James now two rebounds shy of a triple-double. Wade flips it up. That won't go. Still battling for rebounds. James won't. Gets another one. Puts it up. Banks it in. And a foul. He gets his triple-double and a chance for a three-point play. They got to come to some agreement. He's going to get a nice big contract somewhere. You'd expect it to be in Oklahoma City as James finishing it off. And LeBron James caps off an MVP regular season with a magnificent playoff run and an extraordinary performance in the finals. No doubt he'll be named the finals MVP. We'll get an official coming up in a little bit. The Miami Heat are once again NBA champions. LeBron James captures that elusive title he so desperately coveted. And LeBron James averaged 28.6 points. 10.2 rebounds, 7.4 assists, and is the unanimous choice for the MVP, the Bill Russell Most Valuable Player Trophy of the 2012 NBA Finals. The 
chance say it all. LeBron James, MVP of the finals. Given everything you've been through, when the clock hit triple zeros, what's the first thing that ran through your mind? Uh, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. Going back to last year's finals, the way it ended, the way you struggled, the ton of criticism that came your way in so many different ways, what's the one thing that was said or written that bothered you the most? Uh, uh, that I was selfish. Uh, that's the only thing that bothered me that, you know, a lot of people said I was a selfish person, a selfish basketball player, and, uh, you know, I strive on being a team player, you know, doing whatever it takes to help this team win. But at the same time, I use it as motivation. And, uh, you know, I'm happy that I was able to make enough plays to put ourselves in a position to win this championship. You said that last year you were trying to prove something. And this year you realized you didn't have to do that. So how do you refocus your mind? How did you do that? I just went back to the basics. Uh, you know, I knew what got me to this point, and that was hard work and dedication. Um, and I never had to prove anything to anyone. You know, in my first seven years, I just went out and let the game take care of itself. And last year, uh, I tried to prove something to everybody. You know, and I played with a lot of hate, and that's not the way I play the game of basketball. I play it with a lot of love, with a lot of passion. And uh, that's what I got back to this year. We saw you on the broadcast, seconds left in the game. What was going on on the bench in your show of just unbridled emotion? I uh, mean, uh, this right here is the happiest day of my life. It's the happiest day of my life. And I wouldn't want to spend it with nobody else in the world besides my teammates, these fans. Oh my God, you guys are unbelievable. And this is a dream come true. LeBron James, the seventh player in NBA history to have multiple triple doubles in the NBA Finals. Congratulations, go enjoy it.